Camaro IROC C. Looking so hot, so good. So much fun to find. Hey everybody, this is Michael J with the Boker Brothers YouTube channel and today we're going to be going through the top 10 fastest cars of the 1980s. Did you own one and can you really call them fast? You know, the 80s muscle cars weren't the groovy muscle cars your father drove, but they certainly were gnarly. This is the story of the top 10 fastest cars of the 1980s. You know, car enthusiasts will forever recall the 1980s as a period dominated by stringent emission mandates, giving rise to painfully uninspiring economy vehicles that lacked any semblance of thrill. Automakers were compelled to adjust in order to endure. Hey, let's take a look at the top 10 fastest cars of the 1980s. When I drive down the street, the people all gather around. At number 10, the Buick GNX, top speed 124 miles per hour. You know, the Buick Regal stands as the ultimate muscle car creation by Buick and presents the pinnacle of the G-Body platform's evolution. This distinction can be attributed to the 1987 Buick Grand National Experimental, a final year homage to the angular coupe. Distinguished by its sleek all-black appearance, the GNX garnered the captivating moniker Darth Vader's car, solidifying its status as one of the most stylish vehicles. Coming into number 9, the Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS with a top speed of 127 miles per hour. Chevy's Monte Carlo also found itself among the great nameplates that experienced a decline in performance during the smog era. Nevertheless, the Monte Carlo managed to retain its allure through exhilarating variants such as the SS. The formidable 305 small block V8 underwent detuning, yet it maintained respectable performance levels for its time. To demonstrate the computerized suspension system on the new Thunderbird Turbo Coupe, we're going to feed it the following information. At number 8, the Ford Thunderbird Turbo Coupe. Top speed, 133 miles per hour. You know, Ford's Thunderbird often remains overshadowed in discussions about performance. However, the Thunderbird Turbo Coupe from 1983 to 1988 could be considered a larger, more opulent counterpart to the Mustang. Notably, it even shared a turbocharged four-cylinder engine with the Fox body Mustang SVO. Both vehicles also found common ground on the Fox platform. From Ford Special Vehicle Operations, the new Mustang SVO with a 175 horsepower turbocharged engine. At number seven, the Ford Mustang SVO with a top speed of 137 miles per hour. The emergence of the third generation Ford Mustang, known as the Fox Body, marked a pivotal moment in the resurgence of the American pony car's popularity. Its lightweight and agile nature represented a significant leap forward from its predecessor. The Mustang Fox Body's transition into a more robust iteration took place during the mid-1980s. 1984 became a turning point with the introduction of the SVO by Ford. Positioned as a performance variant with the Fox Body lineup, the SVO deviated from the norm by featuring a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. Hey, believe it or not, this engine was a revamped iteration derived from the Ford Pinto. This is the new Ford Mustang GT. With its unmistakably new body, surrounding an equally dramatic 5-liter port fuel injected engine. At number 6, the Ford Mustang GT. Top speed, 142 miles per hour. You know, one of the most emblematic designations tied to the Ford Mustang is the renowned 5.0. You know, during the initial years of the Fox Body Mustang's existence, the absence of a bona fide performance focused V8 cast doubt on its claim to being a true muscle car. By 1987, it boasted an impressive 225 horsepower. Notably, manual transmissions were upgraded from 4-speed to 5-speed. 
At number 5, the Chevrolet Corvette C3 350 Special. Top speed 147 miles per hour. The third generation Corvette is widely acknowledged as the most aesthetically pleasing iteration of the Corvette lineage. Boasting an extensive 14-year manufacturing span, it holds the record as the longest-running generation in Corvette's history. At number 4, the Pontiac Firebird Formula. Top speed 151 miles per hour. Similar to the fate of the Fox Body Mustang, the third-generation Pontiac Firebird underwent a comparable journey. Although introduced a few years later, Pontiac's rendition had to navigate the demands of evolving emissions and fuel efficiency standards. The majority of versions endured a notable lack of swiftness, yet the L98 350 Chevy V8 managed to salvage certain aspects within the realm of performance. Today's Chevrolet, and this is today's Chevrolet. This Chevrolet is specially modified for the international race of champions. This is a new Camaro IROC Z28 built for you. At number 3, the Chevrolet Camaro IROC Z. Top speed 151 miles per hour. You know, very few cars epitomize the 1980s as well as the third generation F body Camaro. While the signature Coke bottle design persisted, it adopted a more subdued presence in contrast to the C3 Corvette. Amidst the era's prevalence of sharp geometric forms, the Camaro emerged as a somewhat rebellious figure. Indeed, affordability was one of its hallmarks, yet to unlock enhanced performance, upgrading to the IROC Z trim was impressive. Number 2. The Pontiac 20th Anniversary Trans Am Turbo Top speed 153 miles per hour As implied by its name, this model commemorated two decades since the birth of the Trans Am, which had initially debuted as an economical alternative to the Chevrolet Camaro. It began as genius and grew to be legend and has become at long last the most advanced production car on the planet. Coming in at number one, the Chevrolet Corvette C4. Top speed, 157 miles per hour. You know, I owned a C4 Corvette and for a long time, the fourth generation Corvette was considered the low point of the model. Mine was a piece of crap. But anyway, that's a different story. But in recent times, people started warming up to it. Departing from the C3's signature Coke bottle design, the fourth-generation Corvette embraced a sleeker aesthetic look. The enduring 350 V8 engine remains a hallmark in numerous classic Corvettes. In the case of the C4, the L98 iteration received roller hydraulic lifters, enhancing fuel efficiency compared to its predecessors. You know, depending on the specific model year, the C4 was available with a Doug Nash manual transmission incorporating an overdrive function. Hey, well, there you have it. The uh, fastest cars of the 1980s. Did you own one? And how fast did you get your car to go? Hey, don't worry. We won't tell anybody. Leave your comments below. Hey, as always, thank you so much to all of our subscribers for subscribing to our channel. You know, subscribing helps us out and only about 9% of our viewers actually hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor, help us out, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications. Hey, this is Michael J with the Boca Brothers YouTube channel. We'll see you again next weekend.